Hey guys, good afternoon. Welcome back to World of Tanks. It's Hager 262. And today I wanted to go over some special events that are happening in the game. And some things that I missed. I haven't been on it since the American Challenge. But this is a very important weekend, Memorial Day weekend in the United States, for World of Tanks. And a very important mission marathon has just started. Or rather, just a couple of missions for two weeks. Not really a marathon. And as you can hear in the background, we have band music, and every so often it will play the Victory in Europe speech from the United States President in 1945. As you can see, there's the Brandenburg Gate as it looked at this time in 1945, with minus all the flags, during peace talks. Now... For America, because I realized, I just learned this year doing my Armored Warfare videos, maybe you saw those, the Victory in Europe Day was May 8th, we just had our 74th one, theirs is May 9th. This weekend, however, while it is Memorial Day, is actually kicking off a series of missions to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the D-Day landings at Normandy, and that's the first thing I want to talk about. If you go here, you'll see D-Day, May 24th to June 7th, of course, the day after the actual beach landings. And what it is, is just not only a good mission, but you get that M10 tank destroyed right there. Now, this is the M10, it's got a really long name, RBFM Sirocco. Hopefully, I can preview this. Oh, excellent. So this will be a premium tier 5 tank destroyer. And they really did do a nice job with the model here. Looks really good. But as you can see, this model is still in just a normal French blue. Part of the missions, you will actually win a special exterior skin or style known as the Sirocco. Which, I don't know if I could preview that here, but it basically it's the same exact thing, only this tank is... A darker blue or green. I couldn't really tell when I saw the pictures on the website, and then it just says Sirocco on the front right here. So there's that. And the reason these missions are so cool, let me click Affirmative, is that they are set up D-Day 1, like that, and each one is, and again, I encourage you to go on the website, because I just assumed you could see it here, which is why I started here. But if you go on the website, every day for the next 14 days is broken down by the five sectors that actually correspond with the D-Day landings. And this picture right here is of Omaha Sector, which the Americans took, but there was also Juno Gold Sword, Omaha, and Utah. So, where was I going with that? Oh, so, despite that, they also go by D-Day days. Now course June 6th was D-Day 1 or just D-Day but for us for the next 14 days it starts now going through 14 and you will get the Sirocco on day 10 and you will get the special Sirocco skin on day 14 so makes, let me make sure I have that right receive the M10 yep receive a unique style yep okay just wanted to make sure I didn't get those switched and so you only have to complete 10 missions to get the actual premium vehicle. You don't have to complete all 14. And a good thing is, is that each mission is locked by day. Now that's not really good for anybody who, you know, works, doesn't have a lot of time to play. The missions are easy enough to complete in a couple of, maybe one hour, maybe two hours at most. But the good news is that even though they are locked by day, once we get to tomorrow, if you didn't play the mission today, you'll be able to play missions 1 and 2 tomorrow, and so on and so forth. Which means if you start next week on the 8th, and you are here, you can play all 7 in one day if you just grind it out, and then start up day by day again until you get to Sirocco. Which is just kind of nice. It allows us to kind of be more flexible. I appreciate that. I'm going to try to be doing one mission a day and filming that just like with the American challenge and hopefully I will get this rock and when I do I will do a review on it now aside from that there are new settings which I don't know where they are 
new settings. I, this is my first interaction with this update, so I'm really late. This is update 1.5. Really late to the game here, but because I am doing this video, I thought I might just cover it. Of course, now you know that World of Tanks has launched its own special premium account just for World of Tanks, not for all Wargaming games. You can access that here, and you can vote for two excluded maps here. Looks like I can only do one, but basically, okay, yeah, you get two if you are premium, only one for free to play it like me, and so you just pick one map that you really, really hate, and, um, sorry, ignore that, you can just skip it forever, it's great. Um, I haven't really put enough thought into this, because I hate quite a bit of these maps, <laughs> so I don't know which one will get it. My opinion, one really doesn't matter anyway, so I probably won't do that, but that is where you find it. You just click your account name, and that's how you get to it. Now, aside from the D-Day missions... Aside from the D-Day missions, there we go. You do get Memorial Day weekend missions, just a couple of boosters. You do this, 10 wins a battle. You get 10 American flags. Um, you can win a garage slot, which is nice. You also have a XP conversion sale, I want to say. It's basically a discount on how much gold it takes to get free experience, so that's good news if you're looking to just use some of that free XP or finally convert some of it. You can do that. There's the Sheridan on track event, and then here's the other thing I wanted to show you. There are three missions that all premium players get access to. However, these are not accessible to just straight up premium accounts. It has to be World of Tanks Premium, and so it's extra special. It means that finally, while I would be excluded from it anyway because I am free to play, now other premium players are also excluded, which is kind of fun for us. But if you do have it, or if you're looking for an incentive to get that, they do give you extra stuff. And then lastly, in the store tab, they just started this yesterday, I believe. Which is the black market. Okay, I'm going to pause that video. Which will kind of explain what it is. Um, I read a, the article about it, and I guess I have to watch this video. And essentially what the black market is, is going to be special deals that are only up for a couple of days that you can snag. And you get interesting and different... Sort of. Well, I'm not explaining it right. Actually, I think I will he watch this video. Easy to find the unfindable. Excuse me. Do you, have... Do you need to stick to the rules if there aren't any? Uh, uh, do you know where I'm getting? Sometimes accidents aren't what they seem. You just gotta know what you want and move forward. Even if you don't know what's around the corner. What are you searching for? Follow me. Be calm, even if you're scared. This is kind of a hilarious video. Um I guess this is supposed to be what black markets in the real world look like? I, I, I don't know what this is. Um. Don't give in to temptation. Don't cave under pressure. Don't be distracted by the worthless. And get exactly what you are looking for. Are you sure about that? I am. Seven days, no rules. Right, so, essentially, what that is, is what you're looking at here. I thought they were going to actually provide some more information for you guys that I might have skipped. But I didn't, that was just a really goofy video. Essentially, what it is, is you're going to be getting access to vehicles that are quote-unquote black market vehicles, i.e. 
premium vehicles that are no longer on sale, premium vehicles that have been considered too OP to sell or too rare or just old and out of the game, like this FCM 36 Pack 40. And essentially, what you're allowed to do is buy them for credits. And you have seven days to pick up this deal. You actually do have a limited number of items. That's obviously not real, that's just in the game. Just to make it more... Give you more incentive to buy it, because it means they're only going to sell about a thousand of these. Obviously, they're not running out of them. Obviously... In my opinion, World of Tanks is probably going to put this on sale. This is classic for them at this point where it's like, oh, we're never going to sell these vehicles again. Oh, wait, no, we are selling them again. Spin them back and forth. The only reason I want it to show you this black mark and the reason I'm excited for it is this part right here. No gold, no real money, just for credits. That is pretty cool. I don't know what other premium vehicles they are thinking about selling. On the article that I saw, it was actually the M41 GF which was there I was kinda hoping that they would have that one I love that tier 8 light tank but they might be doing more in the future so every week there might be a new one or it might just be an event for this week to test out this mechanic I'm not entirely sure and I don't really know how far they're going to go with this if it's just premium vehicles if it's premium consumables kind of where they're going with the black market how big they want it to be which is what I was hoping that video would have told us I'm sorry I made you guys watch that but we'll see. We'll see where this goes. Other than that, I think that's it for World of Tanks news. The first mission for D-Day does start today. So please log in and do that one. There, All you gotta do is fight one battle for main direction. And then you get an auxiliary direction. Which basically means it's a more difficult battle. But you can use any vehicles you want as long as they're tier 7 or higher. For the main direction, you need to use historical vehicles. And it gives you a list of the vehicles right there. So you can pause the video and look at it. Essentially, it's just vehicles that would have been in France at the time, with the exception of the Poodle Polish Premium Tank. I don't know why that made the list, but I think that's funny. Essentially, it's just going to be between Tier 5 and Tier 7 American, German, French, and British tanks. And if you play them, you get the easier mission. It's kind of like how in every other mission marathon, there's two. There's one for everybody, and there's one for only tier 10 players. It's exactly like that, only easier. And so, with just a little bit of gameplay each day, everybody should be able to get at least to the M10 RBFM. Hopefully you guys do. Hopefully you guys get on. I'll see some of you on here playing today. I'm going to be doing these missions every day and filming it. So stay tuned for that. For the people who watch my World of Warships video, the Bismarck missions are up, and I'm about to upload the second part of last night's video right after this one. I woke up this morning and re-downloaded World of Tanks because I saw this news and I wanted to get this video out to you guys first. So please give it a like if you want to see more World of Tanks content, if you just like the video in general. Subscribe so that way you get notified every time I do upload a new video. And if you're waiting for the World of Warships one, I will upload it right after this one. Don't worry. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.